Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for July 9th through the 15th. Timing is fluid, so whenever it resonates with you, this is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings, so if you're looking for money, then or career or whatever, then this reading probably is not for you. Keep in mind, this, this reading may not even be for you, period. It could be, it may or may not be. If you'd like a reading, the information is listed below in the description of this video. You know, it feels as though there is an opportunity for happiness here. If you allow it, you have to allow it. You have to let go of some feeling of emptiness because the world is emptiness. Incomplete. Incomplete. Maybe you're feeling incomplete without a relationship if you're single. That could certainly be the case because this is the past. This is in the past position. This is incomplete, feeling incomplete. Something isn't complete. I'm not complete. I'm not complete without this happily ever after. But you may be going through a period of rest and rejuvenation right now. Maybe you're really taking some sort of time out. Going through a time out to, to heal. But there could be a new opportunity. Whether you're offering it or somebody else is offering it, maybe you're starting to be more open. More open to love. Somebody's sick of being alone, put it that way. Somebody watching this is really sick of it. I need companionship. I need, I feel empty and lost without this companionship. They are lacking passion in their lives and they're sick of it. I'm ready, I want it. Yeah. Need to have some fun. Yeah, I think that you are in a period of sadness some of you are sad and I can I can see if you're single and you've been alone there's there's a feeling of loneliness here and I need my other half I need I need this love that I'm lacking if you were in a relationship now you may be feeling a little empty because you're not getting what you want out of your relationship there's, there's definitely a feeling of sadness here, a lack of, a lack of energy for sure, a lack of energy and passion, lack of focus, concentration, a lack of ambition, feeling down in the dumps. But. I feel that maybe you maybe you need to get out there and have a little bit of fun. Maybe you maybe you need to be more playful. Um, let your friends help you if you need to. I feel with that four of cups reversed that there could be a new opportunity. It's reversed. The four of cups upright is a missed opportunity or a lost opportunity. Reverse. It's like there could be a new opportunity, and you could meet this person at some sort of gathering. Okay, where there's a bunch of people. Okay, you could meet this person, and there could be some communication that comes in that happens really quickly. There's a like a you know 
there's a happy communication, whatever this is, and you may know instantly, because this is an inner knowing, you may know instantly or have a feeling instantly that this could this could be a new prospect because this is like an ace of cups there's one cup okay so that's so that could be that you may know instantly that this could be a, a partner I'm not sure what the hell this is but I feel as though there has been a, a, a period of sadness a period of incomplete I'm incomplete but this period of rest and rejuvenation happens for a reason. It does. So just believe that. This this outcome, this high priestess, is your intuition. So there's a, there's you're very intuitive at this time. Listen to your intuition. Um, this is also a card of oh power per se using your inner power to guide you okay so just keep that in mind the the overall theme though of this reading is this four of cups reverse there could be a new opportunity here for you cancer after a period of feeling sad and incomplete we're going to get this zoomed in and i'm going to keep going So other people see that you have the ability to bring happiness around you. You know, they see that you're positive. They see that you have the ability for growth. Okay, this is how other people see you. The other people see that you're friendly. They, because I'm, I've got to look at both cards here. They see that right now you're feeling incomplete. Other people can see that. People can see, maybe you're lonely. Maybe, maybe, I mean, there is a feeling of loneliness here. So I feel like, but you need to communicate as well. They, you know, you do need to communicate. Oh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So maybe you need to communicate. Maybe this person wants to communicate with you. I don't know what this is, but... You could be dealing with an earth sign or somebody that has a lot of earth in their chart. I feel as though there could be some sort of reunion even or reconciliation with that three of cups with this person. I don't know what this is, but there could be communication coming in with this person or going out. This could be, this could lead to a relationship. I don't know who this is, but this is a relationship that could be happening very fastly. Maybe you know exactly what this is. I don't know. <coughs> Over here with your challenge, <laughs> your challenge position is over here. <coughs> lack of confidence, lack of lack of energy, lack of ambition, uh, self deceit, lack of finding that resources, lack of finding the resources, lack of finding the power, lack of finding the tools to uh, bring success to your life. That's your challenge. You have the resources within you to bring happiness to your life, but you have to take action. If you don't take, there's no action being taken. That's your challenge. Can you take action? Can you take action? Or do you want to continue to be alone? You know what I mean? Because she's alone. This is the Four of Swords. If you want to continue to stay by, by yourself and continue to think about things and not move forward and just be lonely if you don't want to be lonely you have to take action so that's your challenge your challenge is taking action you're deceiving yourself by not feeling confident okay confidence is, is part of the issue it is okay you you have to uh, you have to have confidence in in what you know Okay, if you know something, if you know, if you, or if you, you know, your intuition is poking you saying, this is it, this is it, this is it, then you need to take action. And your challenge is taking action. And I feel like loneliness is a really big, big deal here. Um, You may feel a little withdrawn. You may feel um, 
Maybe you're even feeling a little bitter towards love at this time. You know, if you if you don't allow growth, if you don't allow new beginnings, if you don't if you're closed off, then you can't expect it to just happen. You need to change your thoughts. If you think negatively, then you're in trouble. You're not mastering your emotions. You ha and, and I see negative thinking here. I really do. There's a lot of negative thinking here. You have to master your emotions to the point that you know that you will succeed. You know, you just, it's mind over matter. It is. This Queen of this Queen of Cups reversed may may feel like this is like a victim mentality here. So it, did I say Queen of Swords? It's Queen of Cups, but this is this she is, Queen of Swords has victim mentality as well, and the, any Queen really in reverse, but Queen of Cups and Queen of Swords, but they all do. So this one right here is telling me that, and this can be a man or a woman because we all have male and feminine, uh, masculine and feminine traits, okay, we all do. This is feeling, you know, in your head about who you are. It's like a lack of self-love. So this is your challenge. You are worthy, even if you think that you're not. Well, I think that you might be in your head a little bit. I think that something has happened. It has poked you, poked your intuition, and you just lack the self-confidence and the self-love, the self-worth to take action. That's what it looks like. I suppose this one should go right here. Ooh, so yikes. We could have a soulmate connection here, just saying, okay, because the king and queen of the same court, you know, can signify a soul, a soulmate connection. It could be with any sign, but it is a soulmate connection. And you may know exactly who this person is. You may or may not know. This is um, feeling, again, like unable to master your emotions all over the place, in your head, unable to, to offer love at this time for some reason. For some reason, you're unable to offer love. Even though you want it, you want it. You know, maybe maybe you're afraid afraid of being taken advantage of. Maybe you're afraid that if you give a person a chance, you'll only get hurt. I feel like you're protecting yourself. You're really, really trying to protect yourself by not letting this this love this love be offered or to offer this love to this person that you want to offer love to. That's what it looks like to me. I feel like you want to offer the cup to somebody, but you don't dare to for fear of rejection, for fear of being hurt, for fear of being taken advantage of, or for fear of having a broke, broken heart. You know? Um, so therefore, you could pass up on something solid, stable, and secure. This is an offer, even though it's reversed, the Ace of Pentacles, it's something you've manifested. You've manifested it through your rest and recuperation. You're thinking about it. You want it. You're feeling like you can't be alone. You don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. But I'm really scared of rejection. Really scared of that broken heart. But you need to let go of that worry and that paranoia. You have to just let it go. You need to close that door to worry. It's time. It's time to move on from that and allow yourself to be happy again. Allow it in. Allow happiness into your life. There is an opportunity that you have manifested, perhaps with a soulmate. And I think that you have met this person recently and you know who it is with the high priestess. Your intuition is telling you right now you're remaining silent. I remain silent as I watch and observe and try to step outside of my comfort zone. And offer love. So I do believe that there is a new opportunity for love here. 
and it's being given to you from above. It's something that you've manifested, but now that it's here, you're scared. This could be lead to a lot of happiness with something solid. It could lead to something solid, Cancer, with a lot of love. A lot of tenderness, a lot of happiness. It's like complete bliss. But you have to master your emotions and step outside of your comfort zone. And I think you're being called to give somebody a chance. Again, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's what we have here, pretty much. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. We have all, It doesn't really matter who the signs are, but things are completely halted, stopped. I have to tell you that you are being tested. Your ability to master your emotions and step outside of your comfort zone is being tested. Do you want to, to be complete? Do you want to end this cycle in your life? Do you want to start a new chapter? You have, the, you have the opportunity to do that. Do you want to bring the passion back? Do you? Because it's here if you want it. Okay? One, one, one. The magician is a one, two. We have 11, 11. Your thoughts become things. Follow your intuition. This is a wake-up call. Are you ready to step outside of your comfort zone? Are you ready to let love in? Do you want love? Because there's an opportunity for love, Cancer. Big time love. Big love. Be very, very much aware of your thoughts right now with the 1111 and the High Priestess because your thoughts have manifested this reunion, perhaps. or And this reunion could be with somebody that you're familiar with instantly. Does it mean that you dated them even? A reunion could be somebody from a past life. Reconciliation of some sort. And I think it I think it has to do with a strong, strong, strong love connection. I really do. I do. I think it is uh this pack there's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of chemistry between you and this other person. You feel it. They feel it. But it feels as though you may you fear this rejection so badly that you can't fully offer it. That's what it looks like to me. So I feel like this is a week of, of getting out of your head and offering love. Whatever it is, that's what I see. I feel like there's a something that you have manifested, something that you're wishing for, is here, up front, in your face, and now you have to, now you have to acknowledge it. You have to take action and let go of the worry, instead of stalling and procrastinating. We're going to get a couple of oracle cards. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cancer. Happy birthday to you. I mean, what more can I say? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Perhaps this is exactly what you've been waiting for. Don't let the opportunity pass you up. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. 
There's love around you, Cancer. Extend yourself to it. Do not be afraid. This is what I have. Talk to you later.